And Golden Sands is just over there, right? I'll have a look on the map in a bit, just bear with me. It should be, but... Because it is so we're not that far. Uh, let's have a look. North East. Okay, so it is that. Yep. Then we got a Discovery Ridge Riddle and a Crescent one. The Crescent one's going to be probably the most easiest one, where the Discovery Ridge can be a pain. That was real quick, wasn't it? Hmm? That was real quick, wasn't it? So this one goes to Tom. These also go to Tom, so they all go to the same people. Person. Wait. No, this one's not Tom, this one's Tina. I can't word read, idiot. I'm having a really bad feeling. About? I don't know, just... Something's telling me something's going to happen. Well, it's just, um... I don't like that uneasy feeling. Yeah, I know what you're saying. We keep it alive. I mean, I've got some... I've got my... Uh, uh, I've got the cannonballs loaded on me anyway, so... If we do need to fight, we fight. Plus it's too quiet for my liking. But maybe that uneasy feeling might just be a, you know, a, gl <clears throat> a glitch. Hopefully. Nice shot. Yeah, I got a barrel. Donkey Kong be so proud of you. I have a banana. Okay. Wait, it would help if I put the wood back. Well, we've got a fuckload of wood compared to what we had before. Okay, 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 okay. Uh... Cells? Yeah? Hold on, I can't remember which side's the bloody... Uh, I'm gonna guess it's over this side. Nope. But anyway. There it is. Oh yeah, I knew that. I was just um, testing you. You see, and you passed, yeah. you passed, oh. you passed the test. Okay, now you can... Raisin? Put the, yep. Right. Right, I will basically sort out... <coughs> I'll deal with the silk one. Good idea. That one goes to some guy called Tom. I believe Tina's the one in the um, sword shop, if memory serves. 
Wait, where is the damn sword shop? There it is. No, oh, that's a boat thing. That looks it. Nope, you're not Tina. Oh, how the heck am I meant to see these in the way? Putting the anchor down just to... Or maybe... Nope, you're Sharon. <laughs> Sharon! Ah, oh, you're not. Nope. Let me guess. The one in the bar. Was it? I'm going to check out. Here it is. Looks like I'm sitting on the floor here. Um. And it's like nice. How oh, I love carrying these plants. Seriously, oh, I do. It's just my favourite thing about this game. But again, I'd rather carry these plants than the balls. 100%. Because <laughs> I may trip and fall and go, oh, I smashed them. How do you do that? Oh, I tripped and fell and I don't want to talk about it. I'm not rubber banding, at least I'm not rubber banding so much. Yeah, you're doing that a lot the other night. Hmm. I like that one of the skeleton's names is just Flay J. I know, right? Yeah, because every one of them's got either cat and something or something else at the end of their name. This one is just, yep, plain old J. It's because of that. Sorry, play Jay. Sorry. I didn't see this squiggly Jay part. That was probably like an afterthought on his part. <laughs> <laughs> so, I wonder what he likes to play.
This may hurt. Maybe not. Yeah, we in a tiny ship. Tiny ship be fine. Park this up here. Then get it up so that way we can actually go on out of it if it does start to wumble. Because this is Ruby's Fall and Ruby's Fall was pretty much known for being tedious. And also plus it's a good thing we are part here. Because uh, if memory serves, there's a skeleton up. That's uh, skeleton. Uh, there, cannon up there. Oh look, we already found Ooh, them. I already heard. Yeah. Yeah, up here on this um, hillside. Where are they? Oh, I thought you was one of them. I was going back to. Oh wait, what do I find here? I found a um, a chest. I hear them, but I don't see them. Unless, of course, they might be down below. Oh, one second. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a boat. One. Nice one. Right, coming over again. Yeah, I don't know where the dog ran off to, so I'm probably going to check on her. Go. No worries. Right, they're here somewhere. Ah, there you are. Oh, that was great. I sneezed and that seemed to summon her, so... <laughs> okay, where are you boneheads? Oh, they were like here. in the water last time. With an explosive barrel. Shit. Yo, watch yourself. You watch the guys, the guys off an explosive um, barrel, and I end up getting hit by it. Ooh. Okay, none of us did. Oh, sorry. Seven. Sorry, that was my bad. Oh, well. Uh, sorry, I took him with me. Beautiful. No, sorry about that. I didn't. I thought you were out of range, and I was like, "Shit." No, the range on those is pretty big. It's kind of great, actually. I like big explosion uh, explosion radius. Oh yeah. Radii, something like that. Radius. But then you guess who called it radii for short? <laughs> like octopi. Yep. It's so like when you get a nuke go off on one of those um, RTS games. So satisfying. Especially the devastation it causes. Uh, on the enemies. I'll take a chance. Well, if we do need to leave, then we just... Um, we go, we go on out of here. Oh, 
I was one of the captains here as well. Oh, there's two of them. Made it one. Whee! A hitter. That's two down. Should be one play in Jay. here. There he is. You can play with him. <laughs> okay. Wait. I thought it was four of these things. Yeah, I took the other one on board. Oh, well done. I like the how the ship's just saying fuck off. Is it decided to halfway leave? Yep. It's funny, Ray was saying the other day how um, Emmy's all friendly and stuff, but lately she's been like intruder bark. Oh, boy. And, and Ray was saying how it's probably because she's got a family now, so she has something to actually protect instead of just loving everybody. Yeah, I think I think that's what it is, really. I mean, uh, my mum's dog, he's, he's friendly as anything, but when it comes to being um, protective, he can be very protective. If anything, he's more terroristic than anything else. And he would let every dog know about it. It's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah he would be like, yep, yeah, this place is mine, that place is mine. Go, uh, you cross it, I'm going to bite your nose off. And it's like, dumb boy. Okay, I got the last skull. Nice. Well done. <coughs> Ooh, my voice. There's also an ammo crate here. Do we care about that? Um, yeah, I'll say we grab that as well because that'd be good for setting off as well. Okay, I have the crate in front of the, sh the ship on this, like, eye of land here. Wait, whereabouts? Oh, I guess it's more like, um, on the right side of the ship. I, I put it on, like, a peninsula. I'm swimming to you now with the skull. No ice. And not the best of directions. No, it's fine. Neither am I. If you owed me how I get my list of lights mixed up. Well, didn't that happen the other night? It's on your left. Or the other left. Is something like that. Yep. Oh, I found something shiny. What are you? You are forsaken bring as well, so that's two out there. Oh, that's a bonus then. Yeah, you found it. Yep. That, as I say, is that. Right. Now we just need to go more northwest, and we should be at um, Fetcher's. Was it Fetcher's? Yeah, it's Fetcher's Rest. Yep. So it's. Did I say northwest? Yeah, I did.
Ok. See that puts us on course and it does. Is that two on Forsaken Bring? Hmm? Yeah, you got two on Forsaken Bring and um one on fetches, so I'm going to fetches first. Just get that one out of the way because that one's got a volcano on it. Then I got to Forsaken. So you've got five skulls on that. I was yeah. just making sure I didn't have the wrong idea. <laughs> no, no. You yeah, exactly have the wrong idea. Fuck. I've got quite a few voyages on me. Um, well, three mostly, but I've got a cache. Um, basically it's just the legendary one, then I've got the Bounty of Raging Agents, and then Athena's run of Thieves Haven, which is the five parter one. Wow. Yeah. You remember that long one we were doing? One where I ended up going to sleep. <laughs> yeah. But hey, at least you still got your Athena's um, level up. Yeah, I, I honestly did not expect Ray to do that. I mean, I know she probably would, but I, I try not to take what she does for granted. Yeah. And thank you for letting us come along. We are very excited. Hey, you're more than welcome to, you know. And thank you for being, you know, part of videos and such. You know, you you girls and Danny and everyone else has been really s such a, a charm to be on there. So I'm trying to keep this boat going in the right direction because it keeps going off course. Yeah, as Ray gets all like agitated when she tries to do a sloop, so I end up piloting because I am the one who picks the sloop. <laughs> she picks the brig, I think. I I go for sloop when it comes to being by myself. Even though, yeah, I would ch uh, to, um, take up the challenge of the brig, but. With my driving skills, it's kind of like a bit of a risky thing. Well, when I come out of this, I'm going to go more north. Yeah, I feel the same way. Because, like, the sloop turns so easy. It's so easy to, like, correct it when it's wrong. Oh, it's not that. It's just that my driving is absolutely horrendous. Because I literally do crash into things and it's like, whoops. Oh, I do that because it's fucking hilarious. I mean, because like Ray's like always so careful. So like when I chose to sleep, I just like rammed us right into the sides of docks and shit. Oh, yeah. And they're like, what do you do that for? And I'm like, funny. There we go, we're right oh, on course. I don't know, I'm basically saying that I think your driving's fine. You haven't seen me yet. I'll just be... I'm about to. <laughs> I'm, I'm behaving myself at the moment. But, uh, there was one video when I was dropping off the Reaper's chest and such that I kept crashing constantly into the beaches, into the actual um, docks, and I was like, yeah, you just can't... What was it now? I was kept saying... Oh yeah, this is why they don't let me drive, or something like that. I know I said something constantly on that, basically just hinting about my driving skills. Now the real question is, does that extend outside of the game? Hmm? Yeah, um, the, the the driving does that does that extend outside of the game, or you find like driving cars and what? Uh, phew, I don't know. I would say I'm not really fussed about driving. I mean, I do I do like, I do like dri driving the actual boat and such like that. And even on um, GTA when I mess about with the cars and that, I don't I don't always drive them professionally. I just drive them like um, a madman. 
but most of the times it's um jay that does all the um driving and he um mostly drives from point a to point b basically so he's he's the main driver of it all even though i do tend to bust these doors off of and while giving it shazam I don't know why that um, came to my head when I just suddenly went Shazam or something like that. Uh, it's just one of those things that just came out at the right time. And all of a sudden I just kept on either falling out of the car on purpose or breaking these doors as I did it. And of course the best one was when I went in between the, um, I, was, I think it was like a dock light area. Where I just went, hey Jay, I've got one more thing to do for you. And he said, don't you fucking dare. And I went Shazam. <laughs> he was like, you slow. Like, you fucking slag, and it was just funny. And I'm just sitting over here smiling. <laughs> oh, trust me. It, 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 seeing, it, seeing the actual video, is, it's just absolutely funny. It, even um, Dark Horse slash Nadine, she wasn't um, safe from me either, because I did it to her car. And instead of breaking one door off, I ended up breaking all four doors off. I was like, whoops. And the question that came to mind was, how the hell did you accomplish that? Unfortunately, I didn't manage to recall that part, though. That would have been hilarious. Yeah, I felt the same way when I was, like, recording Beast of Bermuda. Um, I usually, like, wasn't recording when there was like a golden moment but mm. i got like all the boring stuff or the stuff where like it's all tense but no fight actually breaks oh yeah i mean i caught up one time when you actually saved me from that sigh you and the um other one that was with you yeah i don't know if that was ray or if it was someone else yeah either way uh you both um bet the living day out of the um sigh and it was like wow no, I even caught that in the video where it's sort of like, um, basically saying, hey, uh, oh, if it wasn't for those two um, acros, I was, um, yeah, I would have been dead. I think that was uh, when I actually, well, when both me and, and Danny started to actually get to know both you and um, Ray. Right, you're going to love it here, it's just skeletons here to beat up. Beautiful. Actually, I better actually pull this boat in. It was funny too, because at first we were like, what? Save the Rex from a Psy? I don't know. But then we saw like which Psy it was, and it's like, oh, it's the Angry Chinaman. <laughs> so that's what you call him. Well, his name was Chinese, because um, I asked Ray. Ray knows like all the different like pictograph thingies. Oh, yeah. Um, so I knew his nationality. And, like, he attacked everyone regardless of if they were before a carnivore. So it was like, Angry Chinaman, perfect. Whoa, 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 better not do that. Because I just realized I was going to end up crashing. What have we got here? So you got that. Oh, it's another one at Forsaken Brink. Ah! Also, these golf gloves, uh, golf gloves, ghost gloves, and boots um, are pretty cool. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do like the Ash and Dragon ones, but I do like the glowy green on these um, ghost gloves and glue and um, boots. Now I call them glutes. <laughs> Oh, is green your favourite colour? Green and blue, oh yeah. That's mine too. Oh, sweet. High five to you. I found one skeleton, but one skeleton does not make the meal, so... I think <laughs> I found the rest of them. Because as soon as I turned around, one of them just pointed his gun at me and I was like, Oh, no! Are you still alive? Yeah. Barely. There we go. I missed my heavy strike. 
That's alright, it happens to the best of us. I swear that they upgraded some of these skeletons, because some of the skeletons are pretty hard to kill. Oh shoot, one of them, no, two of them's got... <laughs> no! It's okay, it happens to the best of us. But hey, at least we get green lanterns. Oh, they fucked me up pretty good. Damn. Oh, they got me. I'm coming back. Oh, yikes. Oh, I better anchor this. So many guns in one skeleton group. <laughs> so me. Oh, did did you hear um, about official two for Beast of Bermuda? No, I didn't hear that. Um, they've got a new rule about not mix packing. Oh. I was wondering when I was going to put that back in, I mean, going to put that in eventually. Yeah, because we had like freaking lynch mobs killing people left and right for for being accused of doing it. So. Hmm. I mean, I can see why they put it in just to, you know, make it fair. But at the same time, if it wasn't for idiots, they wouldn't need to put in these walls. Yeah, because that was what started the the um, problems with our group and us teaming up was because it happened to me, so... Hmm. It was like Jinx was saying she doesn't like to do it, um, but then everybody got a taste for, like, blood <laughs> after what happened to me. Oh, I yeah. I nearly died. I mean... Uh, when it comes to mix packs, in, 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 I try not to mix pack and all that, like I said in one of my videos. But however, if it comes to friends and that, then obviously I will because I don't believe in killing my own friends on there. Unless, of course, if it's out of fun, then that's different, you know, uh, it's fun PvP. I mean, for example, um, I would joke around with um, Danny and say, yeah, uh, you know, how about me and you 1v1? And um, at first, we'd, be, we'd both be hesitant at first, but then we'd both go, well, you know what, solid. Yeah, and just uh, norm each other for a laugh. Or there was one time on the R when uh, me and Jay um, were having headbutting competitions with um, a para. That us was funny. And this random di dinosaur person was looking at us, us and... Then all of a sudden, because uh, we were headbutting our show, it just looked at us and then all of a sudden it just turned away and ran. It was just so funny. I know it said something though. I think it was like, don't mind me. Oh, there you are. <gasps> I died. That sounded intimidating. Oh. Oh, I took some with me. I was walking this skull back to the ship, too. Oh, oh wait, it's one of the captains out there, then. Yep. I did get one of them. There's, like, another, um... One alive though, unless you got. I don't know. Right, back to action. I flew. No, oh, Captain and his pistol buddy are still alive. I got the melee guys, though. No worries. Pistol dudes, I can need to take on close. Where are those boneheads?
So, you know, I get on the server, I see the rule about no mix packing, and I kind of agree with it, because, like, yeah, you don't want to hurt your friends, but imagine you're one of those people who just comes to the game, doesn't have any friends who play, and needs to make friends, and then everyone's friends and big and kills you, that kind of stuff. Hmm. So I thought this is a good way to get people into the game and make them stay in it, and hopefully make friends, um, so that they can all play together or whatever. Oh yeah. Um, but then this acro starts on me, and I'm like, okay, you know, I'm, I'm I'm doing it. I'm not gonna do anything cheesy, like stand on a hill or anything like that. I'm I'm gonna give him like a fair fight. Uh, and then this ah, this Rex comes by, and the acro isn't leaving just yet. And I was like, no mix packing. And then finally the acro leaves, and it's like, why do I need to remind them of this shit? It's crazy, really. But some people do need a little reminder at times. I mean, afterwards, the acro claims not to be with them, but you, know, you, you either like fight the Rex or back off. Like, don't just stand there for two seconds with drill hanging out your mouth. Hmm. And also, sometimes uh, some players do claim innocent that they weren't mix packing when it's truly one hundred percent the worst. Seen it too many times. Well, I think me and you both have. Ah, oh, I missed. I'll rip your bony head off and shit down your neck. Right, that's one skull. Where's the other skull gone? There it is. Yeah, I got, I got uh, one on the ship too. I think I'm going to be dead. Oh, no, I'm alive. Don't know how I survived that. I think there was only three skulls on this island, I think. I say I think. I'm not sure either. We can check when we get back to the ship. Yep. Explodey barrel, dude. Yeah, let's just forget about him. Unless, of course, we have to come back on the island then, obviously. I know I parked my ship up somewhere. I went the wrong way, but I see the ship now, so I'm going toward it. Oh, yeah. I knew that. Buzzle skeletons. And, and right now, there's just a bunch of pretty big Rexes on the server, and I guess a group of like four Acros, and so it's it's just not a very good time for anybody to grow a dinosaur. Might have to get back on there at some point. Not yet, uh, maybe later. Yeah, I'm not saying now or anything. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm telling you about the state of things. Yeah, no. I was just saying I might get back, have to get back on there and see if I can get lucky to... Um, regrow my dinos if they're still on there that is that's a big if I mean they don't tend to like wipe the servers very often they they don't like to do that especially because people don't like losing their dinos oh yeah yeah there was only three on this island so where is Forsaken again I lose my head if it wasn't screwed on right so it's south west and that random quest we picked up is for Forsaken Brink too. So we've got three for one there. Right, I'm going to be right back real quickly. Um, if you don't mind, would you mind partnering us there? Yeah, I can do that. Cheers, I'm just going to get my tea real quickly.
Right, I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. Cheers for taking over. Uh, a little bit more southwest. That's if there's no rocks in the way, that is. No, no rocks that I can see. I suppose no active volcanoes have gone off at this point in time. Now this island should be a small-ish island, I would say. So there should be no volcanoes on there. That's just me guessing. No, that's me remembering from last time. There we go. Ah, oh, there goes the volcano blowing its top. Yep. Oh, right. The good thing about uh, this loops, we can actually literally ride right into it and actually easily escape. It's risky, yes, but I have done it. Well, others have done it as well. They're kind of beautiful when they do that too. Hmm. So we're going past Cinder. Yeah, Forsaken is the one in front of us then. Not the one with the volcano going off, but that little small island with the little rocks. And that water's hot, I can tell because of the white. <laughs> oh man, these rocks are almost look like they're coming real close. Oh wait. Oh wait, we we are basically there. Yeah, under that. Look at that. Seventy. It's so beautiful. I know, right? What I missed? My ship is still moving, huh? Wait, why is it still moving? Oh, that is a lot of skeletons. It can't be because of that other island, can it? I thought you were too far away. <laughs> that little bit of fireball just hits our boat and it's like Tsk. Now this rock should give us cover Just in case Okay What the hell was that? It hit the ship So we're going to need to fix that Caspian. Uh, 
Our ship is on fire. Such a mean volcano. It almost hit me too, like I yeah. was right next to the cap. Also I'm thinking, yeah, let's go. Uh, we're pretty much covered with rock and all sunny here. I was like, yikes. Did that just hit again? Oh, the skeleton island is a death trap. I think we're safe for shooting cannonballs at. I think what we do is wait till that volcano eases down. Yeah, you're probably right. Will you hit or will you not? Yeah, this is why I'm waiting on the boat. Man, that's hot. What are you gonna I hit? like got to the <gasps> skeleton and then like two of them shot me at the same time. Oh yeah? <laughs> I was dead and nothing flat. <laughs> Wait, where is this hole? Oh, so it did hit up boat after all. I know one hit the top deck, but I thought to myself, wait, why is this water coming through? And then I realised that another one must have hit. Because I know I heard a crunk first time around. Oh, it stopped. No, my bad. Sorry, it's not your fault. Alright, now we can deal with these skeletons. I see how the guys just finish these. Ooh, whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, I died. Okay, I've killed like a bunch of them, but my health is so bad. If you could all mow to the other side of the island, I might be able to take um, a pot shot with the cannons. Coming. Oh, they hit the rock. Well, I'm coming down there. Still coming. It's alright, I'm on it. Oh! I stopped blocking at the wrong moment. 
So I, I will avenge you. Thank you. There you go. Any more of these bonehead motherfuckers? Because come right at me, bros. You want some of this? One of you has a gun, eh? No, no, no. What do you think you are, a gangster with that? Oh sweet, we have a a a what's this? Rowboat for sitting. Oh nice. I made it well. here. Oh my god, you died right in front of me! It's okay. <laughs> I've been shot. Heard the boat go. Oh, three of them just spawned at once to captain. Oh. oh, I took one with me and right as I died. So I'll turn this boat round. Captain Full of Sin Twin, that's who I got. Hello there. How's everything going? Everything going quite well, actually. What's that? Everything going quite well, thank you. Well, that's good. I just got up probably about 15, 20 minutes ago. Ah, right. Yeah, me and um, Zero here are just finishing up on um, Sea of Feast. We just got one more final forge and a digging to do, and we should be done. Okay, so you guys are all done for the day? Yeah, roughly that. Okay. Although I will be back later on to um, do a bit of streaming later. Um, I'll be streaming uh, the new Resident Evil 3, if you're interested. Uh, never been real, bi real big on Resident Evil, yeah, right. but... Uh, I thought we'd just offer that to you anyway, so you know, you're more than welcome, dude. Yeah, I understand that, and thank you. No worries. So, you guys excited for uh, Sea of Thieves going to Steam? Oh yeah, uh, um... Uh, I'm actually quite excited about that. I'm hoping that this will allow you to continue on the um, like the um, the account that you got with Microsoft, or allow you to pull it over like they did with Destiny. Yeah, like a like a uh, uh, a character transfer. Essentially. Yeah, because then that way it would save me re having to rebuy the whole game again. But yeah, if, exactly. But however, if it's still cross-platformed and it will still be cross-platform between Microsoft and Steam and all the rest and that, then I'm not going to be fussed, because I can either just switch back and forth to it. Yeah. And not, and not to mention, Steam's just a better platform anyways. Oh, yes. Well, it has been for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, though, the player the player count for CFDs is going to spike dramatically once it goes on Steam. Oh yeah, it's going to be um, a lot of PvP, uh, uh, yeah, PvP's going on here, which is something that Zero might love. Oh yeah, yeah, there's going to be a lot of tryhards using those cheap tactics that YouTubers use. Ah. Uh, they've shown. They are. That's all that's going to happen is just the cheap PvP tactics. 
Yeah, I've seen a lot of people try that, and it's that, like thinking, oh yeah, we're just basically following this person and such. And it's like <laughs> you're not doing it right. Yeah. Well, the one that get the one that's almost guaranteed to work is when you have the one guy standing on the island waiting for someone to dock. Because you know people want to get as close to the island as they can to offload as fast as they can. But at that point, when you're slowing down to dock and you're going right for the beach. There's no way you're gonna have time to turn around before someone climbs on, and then of course they have a buddy who probably follows you from behind. You don't mm. see him. Cause that's exactly what happened to me, and there's nothing I could have done. Oh, well done, see ya. Even if I uh, dropped the sails completely and turned and turned as hard as I could, he was already on my on my ladder. Oh, yeah. When you're on your own, you can be quite vulnerable on your own. But however, there are ways to um, dealing with people like that on your own, and I mean. Um, even a uh, fellow um, Bearded Garden, he's actually showed uh, that things can be done, you know, by yourself and that you can actually defend your ship. you just got to be a little bit more um, vigilant, really. Yeah, that's that's basically it. you got to be both vigilant, you got to be re you got to be ready for it, and you got to know how to handle that situation. Exactly. Which is pretty much the hardest part, especially for someone who doesn't have a whole lot of experience. Mm. But the one thing I can uh, say... Yeah say is don't take the game too serious you know if you lose your treasure you lose your treasure you can get it back at that another day yes it's a pain in the butt yep but you know it's yep. best to do it with a cool head because otherwise you're going to ruin it for yourself you know don't let other players ruin it for you you know easy said than done that's, that's how it was it's mm. just when during that session i had i yeah. got killed and lost all my shit twice Yowza. and that's pretty demoralizing it's pretty demoralizing when that happens especially when you tried so hard to save it Oh yeah. What ended up happening? Yep. Yeah, I was, no, I was uh, going to say there was, the first? there was gonna, there was a bunch of players Go that ahead. tried to steal um, a bunch of my stuff the other night, and I was like, yeah, I'm not going to have that. Yep. Hey, we're ready. That's. Yep, we're ready. Yeah, because after after that double team thing happened, I was like, okay, fuck this, and I scuttled my ship and logged off, and that was it. And I was yeah. Because I was I was just on my way to offload, and I was going to log off anyways, so it didn't really matter. But the first one, that one hit me pretty hard because what ended up happening was I got into a fight with a um, an undead ship that just popped up right on me. Oh. And we, and we sunk each other basically because I was dumb. Jumped, it jumped from my ship onto theirs after I grappled onto it. Hmm. And then I didn't realize just how damaged my ship was. Can I give you a point of, of advice? If you're going up against ghost ships by yourself, don't try and grapple them. If you've got a crew of two of you, then you can try that. But if you're only by yourself, yeah. then don't do it by yourself, because otherwise you're just going to set yourself to be really messed up. Because you need... I mean, yes, it can be done by yourself, yes, but it's it's better that you've got someone at the helm as well as at the harpoon at the same time. That's yep. for my and experience. Only, yep. And not only that, though, but when you're not patching up your ship, it's you're basically dooming it as soon as you jump ship. Mm. But luckily... And that's basically what happened, because... I was going to say, luckily, sloops can take a lot. Yeah, they can. They can. It, but yeah, what ended, up, what ended up happening is after I boarded them, killed them, and sunk them, it forced spawned me back to my ship because I got stuck in a little mm. spot as the ship was sinking and I couldn't move. And when it spawned me back to my ship, it just sunk. Mm. Oh, so you know, I Zero, we're heading to Flames End. Or nothing. All right. Yeah, just so you know, because what I'm going to do, I'm going to go for fl uh, Flames End and then we turn it in at our um, walls. So that way, gives us a little bit more of an exciting challenge then. I mean, we could easily just turn it all in and there, but we might as well do it when we finish up Flames End. Anyway, sorry. Good. What was she saying, Hotshot? Oh, um, so after I sunk uh, him, or rather we sunk each other, I had a rowboat attached to the back, thankfully. And I grabbed everything that I could. I don't know where... The, the ship sunk at all because as I looked looked and looked and looked I couldn't find the treasure at all So that was pretty much a wasted effort mm. So I grabbed everything I had I had like Four treasure chests two of them were empty one had an em one had a sapphire a goblin and something else inside of it Oh jeez. And, and I had another one with some with some um, uh, Brimstone in it. I think it was oh I the little fiery rocks yeah. But anyway, I grabbed all that, had a few skulls, loaded it all up into the rowboat, and started looking for a 
outpost to, to drop it off on. And I finally found one, and of course, after probably about 15 minutes of rowing, I started offloading. There's another fucking player on that island. Yeah, he I had that trouble. Too. Yep, and of course, he shot, he shot and killed me, found my stuff, and sold it all. Yeah. Luckily with me, this player was basically anchored to the pole, and I just took the first shot at him. Because I was on the, already on the run, and not chancing anymore with any other players, because I thought there was more behind me, because I saw Sloop and the brig. And I wasn't too sure whether I sunk that brig or what. I think I might have done, by chance. But um, it was also the ghost Sloops that were, uh, were constantly appearing up. And then all of a sudden, I saw another Sloop, and I was like, oh, you've got to be kidding me, cowboy. So I just thought, you know what, just take it out. But of course, as soon as I went to go there, I heard the player speak through his mic, and I thought, yep, turn the ship round. Because even just one player can just mess you up. Oh yeah, absolutely. But yeah, that that one was uh, that one hit me pretty hard because you, you I fought so hard to get to keep that treasure safe instead oh, yeah. of giving up on it, only just to get killed and lose it anyway. Yeah. So but, that that kind of sucked. Yeah, it sucks, but don't you know don't feel disheartened by it because at the end of the day, you know you know you can redo it all again. Yes, it's a pain in the butt, but at least you can say. Um, I don't know why I waste cells up in the first place. I should wait a bit longer, but still. Uh, but anyway, um, I wasn't uh, going to question it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, there's the on. But um, as I was saying, yeah, you can. But if you do lose it, you lose it. It's, at least you're not losing real life money. That's the main thing. If it was something yeah. that cost you real life money, then I would have been extremely, you know, edged off. Oh, oh, definitely. And of course, as all the other. Um, uh, YouTubers who play, who play Sea of Thieves have pretty much unanimously said, people who just kill for the f for the hell of killing killing you, even though you clearly have nothing on board, they're the scumbags. Some of them just enjoy the PVPs as well, of course. I remember I did come across one um, player who did that, and I, was, I did type in GG basically, and he said, yeah, sorry, I had to do that, uh, I, I just wanted that list for the PVPs, and I said, fair enough, you know, but just to be warned that not everybody will appreciate it like I would. So, you know, I gave him a fair warning, he goes, yeah. oh no, I don't do it to be a trial, I just only do it if um, people are interested, and I saw you were interested, I went, I'll be honest, I wasn't, but, hey, I was just protecting my treasure. <laughs> yeah, I'm just protecting my shit. But, at the same time, he was a decent player anyway, so he did give my sub back, so that was lucky. But he taught yeah. me all available lessons as well, to be a bit more better at the game, even though yeah. I'm not 100% that great, but still. Oh, I'm, I'm nowhere near that great. I can I can snipe skeletons all fucking day and slug them around, but I can't do I can't deal with the player at all. Um, players, it's a 50-50 thing with me. It depends on the player. Yeah. Uh, however, I think Zero here. She's more the. Are, are you the one that's more PVP? Between Ray and I, yeah, I'm yeah. more likely to actually fight. Yeah, so she she literally um, knows that territory quite well, better than I do. I'm more of a 50-50. I mean, sometimes I PvP, sometimes I try and avoid it. But it all depends, really. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm pretty much a runner. That's that's pretty much me. But although, uh, there Whoa! was one time I saw, like... Sorry. I, saw, I, once, I once saw three sloops going at it before, and I just parked my ship from a distance and just watched. Oh, so it's from you see them. Were, yeah. Yeah, I was just seeing who, who came out the victor of that one, and after all was said and done, I just dropped my cells and left. Right, we're gonna turn. I didn't a... want to get involved in any of that. Mm. We're gonna turn ourselves into Moore's Peak, so it'll be mm, I'll say east by northeast, I'll say roughly, or is it north by northeast? Oh, let me have a look at that again. Yeah, I'll say. Actually, no, just go dead north. Actually, that'd be best. Actually, I don't know why I was looking at the map, because I could see more speak from over here. <laughs> For me, recently, I've had players adapt to me and come back. And that's what's been getting me lately, is just players returning. Like when we were doing that yep. spell for it. Uh oh, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's annoying as shit. It's like, guys, you lost. Give the fuck up. We don't want to go there yet. we got to wait this one out. Want to take a chance of waiting out, or do you want to go to um, Agent Spa? Oh, I do know there's a sloop nearby, but I think we're probably fine. 
Well, did do come over. We just blast them up. We should be evenly yeah. matched. But uh, uh, but yeah, uh, I know what you mean. Not sure about the whole thing. Oh wait, that's just finished. Oh, in that case, we can sell on. Yeah. Well, Jared, I I get it's part of the game and all that stuff. It's just very annoying Ooh. to deal with. That's pretty much it. <laughs> it's a, we were so pleased to focus on Morgs Peaks that volcano. We didn't see the one behind us and it just blew. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure how far that is from us, but I think we're at a safe distance where we were anyway, but I don't want to chance that. Because, oh shit. There's one in front of us. <laughs> oh shit, Morgs Peaks going off as well. You make up your mind. God the only damn thing it. I have against a ghost ship. The only thing I have against a ghost ship though is that they fight unfair. It's a 4v1. You got you got the captain, two gunners, and the fucking guy repairing below deck. Do you want to know how to deal with the sloop version? So if Arnif just found this out randomly. You just shoot just keep shooting the hole in the same spot? Well you shoot um, yeah, a couple sure. of times, but however at the time we may as well hunt this thing down. Yep. This killed a shark then. <laughs> oh, here we go again. <sighs> Thank you. Dave, as you were saying? Um, yeah, I, I was going to say we'd best take on the shark. Um, what was I, I going to say? Actually, I forgot what I was saying just a moment ago before the shark. Oh, yeah, um, taking on the um, sl ghost loops. You uh, hit them with the fire bombs a couple of times. And what you do is, as you hit them with the fire bombs, you either give them a couple of rounds and then they should sink real quickly. Yeah, that's what I try to do, is try to set it on fire and try to kill the crew as best I can. Mm. That's with the ghost loop it usually works on. With the galley and the larger ones after that, um, those ones can be a bit tougher, but the galley ones, you can just hit them from either behind, like a normal galleon, or you can hit them right underneath their, um, their bows and just really get them. Yeah, just basically go, go for um, below deck shots, like the yeah. low deck shots. At least with the Galleons, yeah, they're a little bit more easier. Yeah, because you know, cause they only have one skeleton repairing the entire ship. You keep pe you keep peppering it, you should be good. Yeah, oh, there he is. As long as we can get it closer. Yeah, that's, that's generally what I try to do. I try to shoot fire oh. bombs, but it just feels like they're being, the fire's being put out before they can actually do any damage. Uh, Alright. Sorry, I was saying that's zero, not you. <laughs> Because I was just real, she got the cannon before me, and that's why I went, oh, alright. <laughs> but yeah, not, but yeah, if I had to rebuy it on Steam, I'm not losing too much other than just the cosmetics that I bought, but yeah, man, I don't mind. Not to, not to mention, uh, the cosmetics I bought just light up my ship like a Christmas tree. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I got the, um,. The, el the elemental one makes the <gasps> shit. One. Oh, why did it back down? He's on the other side of the ship. Wow, I didn't even put a shot in it. It back down. Something must be on my side Funny. then. They're <laughs> probably a fake out. Yeah. Yeah. Although they have been doing some new little tricks. These um, I know it's the um, Meg and Kraken F. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like they were doing things quite surprising that you wouldn't expect. I remember when I first fought, uh, got a crack it on me while I was by myself. I was like, oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. How am I supposed to do this? At least when you're in the sloop, it's a little bit more easy. Yeah, because you only have the two tentacles on the bolt, on both sides to deal with, and that's it. And it's usually a two shot as well with each tentacle. Yeah. But when you're in a galley or a, um, a brig, and then that's when it becomes a little bit more tougher. But there's no way I'm going to get a good shot of it. Yeah. I was, I was like, wait, did I, did I kill it? Like, holy shit! And also, it's a little bit more easy to um, steer out of it as well when you're in a sloop. Because of um, the agility you got. Yeah. yeah. Where are you, you sneaky son of a well, bitch? I mean, oh, I, there you I, are. I He's like right in front of us. <laughs> Here he comes. Fuck off! No! I died. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, that was so that was so funny going back and watching the uh, the video. Uh, of you exploding. 
Yeah, I'll be exploding. You see what I mean? From my view, it just looked funny. Yeah, it did. All you just see, you just see a plume of fire just over the hill. Exactly. And all I saw was your body just disappear. It's like you got vandal uh, snapped. Yeah, where I, yeah, where I just slid back and started fading. Yeah. Oh, that was great. But <laughs> hey, you went, you went down uh, like a trooper, though. Yeah, I, t I, th I think I took out like three skeletons with it too. Yeah. Two or three.